What's up YouTube? It's Double D here coming at you with a how to clean a catch can and what's inside my catch can after five to six thousand miles. Right now I'm just warming up the bike to get the oil flowing so I can change the oil as well. Let's get into it and I'll meet y'all back in the garage. If you notice inside there it is clean. There's no oil residue, no nothing. The red silicone is still in there, did not get sucked in like a lot of people said it would have. We're going to go ahead and get into the catch can and see what is inside there. So I went ahead and removed the oil can. There's just a little bit of oil in there. The filters are got a little bit of moisture to them. I mean, it's got oil on it, nothing major. We're going to go ahead and wash these off with some Dawn soap, clean this out with some Dawn soap, let them dry out, and then we'll reinstall it on the bike but we'll go ahead and get that taken care of to get the filters off you need to take a 13 millimeter unscrew that just know what order they go in the little guard filter guard filter guard and another filter and there's one more in the bottom down there they are different these ones are real fine this one's a coarse filter down in there so just remember how they go back on there and i'm doing this for a record for myself as well so we'll go ahead and get these cleaned up and i'll show you that I got my warm water with a little bit of Dawn soap or palm olive or whatever dish soap you want to use. Just let it put them in there. Let them soak for a minute. Get that a little bit wet. Pull the filter out of here. Actually, there's two of these in there. I did thought there was just one. Take the screwdriver. And that's the oil. And that's the oil left inside there. We'll rinse this out, let these soak for a little bit, and we'll show you when it's all said and done. All right, I soaked them in there for about 15 minutes. Then I actually went to the sink and rinsed these out. They were pretty milky. If you can see in here, let me see if I can bring this up a little bit closer. It's got a little milky oil nastiness. Uh, just rinse them out, let them dry completely. Probably the next you know a couple hours let them dry out may not even that long but that's what the can looks like all nice and clean there's the top like i said i just soaked them in the soap in the water then i rinsed them off in the sink to get all that milkiness out and that's what it left in there and a little bit left so we'll get it put it back together and we'll go from there all right i got the coarse filters in there and then i got the fine filters in there tighten this up Hold that with a needle nose plier, use a 13 millimeter socket. Now we'll just put it back in there. Just screw it back together. And that's it, cleaned up. Catch can, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the bike, but that's how you clean a DK Customs catch can and what it looks like oil wise. This is after like 24 hours of the oil just sitting in there. So not a whole lot, but there's quite a bit. So there you go enjoy well that's how i clean the catch can and what it looked like after five to six thousand miles if you have any questions put them down in the comments below make sure you like comment and subscribe we'll catch you on the next one